is Nicole here. I'm going to do another nursery tour. So last week I went to the flower farm nursery and I got seven plants. I love that place so um, later on I asked on my local um, house plant Facebook group and I asked people what are your favorite local nurseries that has a good variety of house plants and also has a very good price. And Larry Nurseries is one of your favorites. So I'm here today and I want to see what they have. So let's go. Some Calathea, two ninety nine, three inch pot. Ooh, look at this. This is very impressive. They have this purple velvet plant. So, like the name. So when you touch the leaves, it's very velvety, and I really like it. And this one is so long. For two ninety nine, you cannot go wrong. Yeah. They also have this bunny curly spider plant. I talked about it in my previous. Uh, big box store for videos. So in at Walmart, they have um, eight inch hanging basket of this by the plants for fourteen or fifteen dollars. If you don't want to commit to a big hanging basket, I think this is a good size, and they grow very fast in their growing season, which is spring and summer. So I think it's a very good price, two ninety nine. I have to talk about this snake plant. Snake plant is one of my favorite plants. It's just so easy to care for and you ignore them but they just give you a lot of love. They, they grow for you and probably suddenly one day when you come back and look at it, it just grow. It has some new baby shooting out. So for $2.99, I think it's a very good price. And they also have a taller one here. So, you have lots of options, you don't have to pick this one. Pothos. Pothos are also very easy to take care of. Um, this one is the 4 inch marble green pothos, is $5.99. They also have the regular spider plants, also in a bigger pot. $5.99 as well. So basically, if the plants are in a 4 inch pot, it's $5.99. If they're in a, a smaller pot, such as um, this guy, Colton, in a 3 inch pot, it's $2.99. Like I said, spider plant is so easy to care for and it produces a lot of babies for you. So if you cut, so for example this guy, it has the note here. If you cut right here and put it into the water, you can do water propagation or you can put them directly to soil. They will root out and grow to a full plant probably within a few, a few months or a year. Today we're just going to focus on house plants because I am a big fan um, in gardening and house plants. I don't know much about flowers and my garden is all set so I don't need to buy any seedlings. So okay, let's keep looking. Those are the big colocasia. I'm not buying them because they're the annual plants. This one is so special. Look at how pretty the shape is. This is called the starfish sensevaria. It's a type of snake plant. 
but look at this, it's like a, a little fan to me. It's just so elegant. It's one of the plants for minimalism. So. And it also has a baby. You can actually bring it home and separate it. So it has one baby here and one back here. You can separate them into three plants. So for this starfish, there's a very in six inch pot is $24.99. I think it's a fair price because it's hard to find them. And then they have the classic ZZ plant in a 6 inch pot $19.99. So ZZ is so easy to care for. They are very hardy. They don't need a lot of water. So the way I care for ZZ plant and snake plant are the same. You just ignore them, I water them whenever the top, uh, whenever the soil gets completely dry. An easy way to test it is to put your fingers into like two inches deep into the soil. If there's no um, uh, soil or compost stick on your fingers, that means it's pretty dry. So this one, you can tell it's pretty wet. They just water it, so I don't need to test it. So this one is $19.99. I think it's okay price. Um, I went to Lowe's a couple days ago, and I actually got one. It's pretty much the same size for um, $10.99. So you kind of have to compare the price, but everything in that I mentioned in the video, if I said it's a good price, that means I already compare um, compare the price with a lot of different places. So if I said it's very good price, it's a very good price. So they have the same potho, the marble queen potho, but they put a stick. So if you train the potho to make them climb up, their leaves will get bigger. In, but if you want them to trail down, their leaves actually get smaller. So if you want to get a big tall plant and bigger leaves, you you'll want to put some moss pole or like a giant stick here to train them. So here they train their um, potho grow up and here they put it to a hanging basket so that they can grow down. Um, they have the marble cream pothos here and also have the satin, the dungeon satin potho here. So, more fern. I'm not a big fan of fern because they're kind of um, finicky but if you like them, I think they're just gorgeous. And they also got some peace lily. Look at this. It doesn't have the price, but it's classic. Peace lily is so easy. That's why it's so popular and it blooms for you. So the more light it gets, it just produce more um, flowers for you. Um, peace lily also tolerant in lower light condition but they might not bloom. So just FYI. And then they have the popular Instagram famous plant. Monstera deliciosa. So to be very careful. Okay. So in a 6 inch pot, $12.99, it's okay price. I got my at um, Lowe's for $14.99 and it, it's more mature than this one, but it's, it's okay price. Rubber plants. I don't know what to say about them. I got one from the flower farm a week ago and I love mine and I I paid $3.99 for mine and mine is like that tall. So this one is is $6.99 and it's double the size, like way taller. I would pay three more dollars for such a bigger plant. I think it's very very good price. If I did not get the one at Flowers Farm, I would definitely come here and pick this one up. It's, it's gorgeous. So if you look at the leaves here, 
look at the variegation. It's just like someone painted on it. The, so the newer leaves, um, it is more pink, orange, red color on the on the side. But when the leaves get older, it's more like lighter yellow. It's just it's just gorgeous. They also have the traditional rubber plant, burgundy. It's slightly shorter than the variegated one, but I think it's still a good price, $6.99. So right now we're in the succulents and cactus area. So all those three inch hot succulents or cactus, they are $2.99. So you can see there are a lot of varieties. This guy's string of pearl is quite popular. Um, it will twirl down and it grows very fast. It's so easy to propagate. If you have a bigger plant, you just cut it off like in the middle and then put it into the soil directly uh -huh. and it will propagate, it will root out so quick so it's a very very cool plant and it's also $2.99 okay we are going to a different area before we go there I want to point out this place is cash and check only and the last nursery that I went to the flower farm is they accept credit card but they prefer cash so just be careful bring your cash with you if you want to come here because you don't know you might end up buying something so I personally think they don't have a lot of pot options but this one really catch my eyes and look at the look at the angle like it's just so unique, so modern style, and I, I really like it. They have different color, and this one is like more um, a metal style, and more options for you to choose. So, I'm not quite sure of the price because it doesn't have a price tag here. But let's move on. Here is their cactus and succulent greenhouse let's see what they have because they are they already display some options out there so let's come in whoa oh my gosh I've seen this one so frequently on Instagram uh, I don't know the name of it because I'm not a cactus succulent expert and I also don't have succulents at home but this one is freaking cute let's keep going remember this guy is the J plant so easy to care for and is $2.99 as well good price Be very careful because they are spiky. So this guy for that tall is also $2.99. So I talked to the manager here earlier and I asked him, oh, do you guys have this variety, that variety? Because I'm looking for some plants for myself. And he told me that they usually get a lot of items, a lot of varieties right before Mother's Day because that is the peak season. Um, if you are looking for something specific, the best time to stop by probably slightly um, before Mother's Day So you get a lot to choose from and right now they basically have less varieties and a lot of items They're still growing. They're taking cuttings and propagate them, but they don't plan to sell them until next spring So just a uh, tips for you guys Hey, they have more snake plant here so this snake plant is a more shorter version than the ones that I showed you guys earlier. So if you don't want or if you don't have a larger space for snake plant, because snake plant can grow up to 4 to 5 feet if you give them enough love. I mean, a bigger pot for them to grow. But this one is the shorter version. If you just wanted to put it on your um, dining table, 
this uh this is a good centerpiece. In the six inch pot is $16.99. So they have this, 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 this pattern and the solid green pattern. A lot to choose from. Oh here. This is also a snake plant. It looks different than the two that we talked about. This one is Sensevieria Fernwood. It's $16.99 in a six inch pot. So if you look at this one, it's uh, even a thinner and a smaller stick. It's, it's very, very hard. So you don't water them so often. You only water them when their um, soil gets completely dry because basically all their stems holding the water so they absorb the water hold it and they actually prefer to get dry completely so I water them I water mine uh, every three to four weeks and they're growing very well but it also depends on what area that you're living in if you are living in a more humid area you probably don't need to water it at all if you put it outdoor um, but as an indoor plant I just water them when the top a couple inches of soil gets completely dry and water it thoroughly. So this is their secret greenhouse area. It's employee only but I got the manager's um, permission to take a peek. So this is basically the place that they do the cutting, the propagation, they are preparing for the plants for um, 2020. So. Let's take a quick peek. So those plants are not for sale here right now, but it will be ready next year. I'll wait for you next year. Look at how many varieties that they have. I couldn't find them out there, but they're still working on it. And have some shamrock. Do you guys like hanging cactus, hanging succulents? If you like it, look at those. This is the other side of the special greenhouse. They're also growing a lot of succulents. Hey, begonia. They have begonia angel wing. Oh, well. It's flowering. Look at the flower stalk. Oh my gosh. And of course, they have a lot of fake to fake leaf plants. Let me just pick one. Okay, so this one in a four inch, six inch pot is $6.99. So, fake to leaf fake is so popular on Instagram as well however they are kind of finicky not quite easy to take care of they like medium to bright sun indirect sunlight and they are also very easy to get spider mites um, it's one of their very common disease and once the plants get spider mites if you cannot get rid of it it basically will die so um, they have a bigger fiddly fig plants um, over there in the main areas as well and they're about $30 if you're not quite sure if you can handle it um, or you don't think you have a green thumb I suggest just pick up a smaller one I think $6.99 is a very good price for a fig leaf hey I have to mention they have the Pilea peperomia aka the Chinese money plant they are so cute and for this size $2.99 if you want a more lush version, they are in this container. It's for um, $16.99. And it's actually blooming for the ones in this big container. Look at how many babies do they have. They have this little one, two, three, four, five, at least 15 in this pot. So it's very easy to propagate and you can put them into several pots and give it to friends and family and I'm definitely picking up one of them 
I went to Home Depot um, a few days ago and they have a slightly bigger Pylea Peperomia for $8.99 so for $2.99 no brainer I'm going to pick one up this guy is super hard to untangle look at this oh my god but I want to pick one that looks the best and has more babies so that I can separate them. Uh, I don't know how long I'm going to stay here to untangle this guy, but I will try. So I'm checking out with my plan and I want to point out one more thing. They have begonia angel wing, begonia dragon wing and look at this guy. The stem is so thick and it's $2.99. Okay, I got my Pioneer Pepperoni. I'm so happy right now because it's kind of hard to find in my area but I know in your area probably is more common plant but I like it a lot so look at this it will get flush very quick they, they grow very fast like this one I got one, two, three, four, five, six it's six plants in total in this small three inch pot for $2.99 so I'm so happy if you live in Kansas City area and you know a place that has a lot of houseplant varieties or the price is so affordable please let me know because I want to check them out I want to do a nursery tour for you guys so leave the comment down below and I will see you in my next video